All right, welcome back to PC Building Simulator. We're here on the home screen because it's what I do every time we get an update. You can see in the bottom right, we're on version 1.10.0. 1 uh, 1.10 just dropped this morning and I had to do a video of it because I have to, but I always love looking at the, the actual menu screen because we get to see a build like this one that incorporates a bunch of the new parts and I think it's always kind of fun. So you can already tell maybe if, you, you know, if you've played the game, you're paying attention. Uh, we've got a new case here, an ROG an Asus ROG kind of case. Uh, the motherboard is actually new. The graphics card, you guys see it? Eh? Asus Strix 3000 series RTX. Eh? Anybody excited? Okay, just me. All right. Uh, the actually I think the, also that AIO is maybe new, but a bunch of these parts are new. And so we're going to go through them all inside of uh, free build. And we'll just, we'll talk through all the parts. We'll talk about what's new. And uh, there's a lot new. There's a lot of new exciting parts to check out. So let's jump in to free build. We're here in the Overclockers UK workshop. Let's just get one of these out of the way. Ooh, I feel so fast. Can I, I can like run. I think they added that in like one of the last updates. You can kind of like sprint. Am I crazy? I don't know. Um, okay, let's go through everything that's new. So I think maybe the most fun way is just to build a computer with what's new. So let's start with cases. We'll talk about the new cases. We've got three new cases. Yes, no, yes. Three, three new cases right here. The Antec P120 Crystal the mid tower, the Asus ROG Strix Helios. That's what we saw on the main menu screen. That's pretty cool. I'm thinking we're going to come back for an all Asus ROG build 2.0 with that case because we didn't have a lot of ROG case options before, but now we've got better ones. So we're going to do that. We're going to come back with that. So we're not going to do that today. And then we also got the Rasion Tech Eris Evo, which is pretty cool. It's a full tower. So I'm super interested to check that, that case out. We don't have a ton, ton, ton of full towers. So that'd be pretty cool. But today we're going to build in the Antec P120 Crystal because it looks pretty cool. It's got a top mounted power supply from what I can tell. Wow, that's interesting. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's pull this part. Oh, it's got doors that swing open, okay. And, I'm just, oh, I need to turn all my auto tools. I still have them all off from when I did my PC building simulator speed build. Let's turn those back on. Okay, got all my little tools turned back on because I'm useless without them. Uh, all right, let's look at motherboards. So we've got five new motherboards. And I love that they sort these, uh, the new stuff just gets thrown at the bottom because it makes showing them so much easier. So uh, from the bottom, new ones. This was the one that was actually on the main menu, I think, the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Plus. Um, all of these are AMD, so all of these are uh, support AMD CPUs. I've got three that are AM4 and two that are TRX40. So we've got also the MSI Meg X570 Unified, the MSI Meg, Meg X570 Ace with its interesting yellow accents, the MSI Creator TRX40, and the MSI TRX40 Pro 10G. I assume 10G means 10 gig LAN, I'm guessing. I am guessing? I'm guessing. Uh, let's... Let's, 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 uh, can we fit this in here? Let's go with it. We're going to go, we're going to go Threadripper today. Yes. There you go. Lightning Gen 4 M.2. That's PCIe Gen 4. Uh, all right. CPU. We got nothing new on the CPU front, but let's just get a 3960X in here, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? I always forget how to install these. Okay. Good. Torque that down. I'm pretending that I'm torquing it down. Actually, I don't know if you torque them down anymore. That was like first gen Threadripper, maybe. Um, okay. Ooh, I, maybe I shouldn't have done Threadripper because the new the new coolers probably aren't going to support Threadripper most likely. Maybe they will. Okay. Um, let me turn off this PC just in case, though. So we've got new uh, liquid coolers and air coolers. Liquid coolers, we've got the NZXT Kraken X63, the X53, and the X73. So that's a 360, a 240, and a 280. We already had one of their newer generation liquid cooler uh, AIOs. I can't remember which one. The Corsair IQ H150 iRGB Pro XT. <gasps> That's new, 360 RAM. Uh, we also have the H115i and the H100i, 240 and 280 respectively. Well, actually reverse respectively. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, we have the Cooler Master, Master Liquid, ML240L V2 RGB, as well as the ML120L V2, 120 mil and 240 mil. And uh, these aren't in the changelog, these new Antex, but I know I've never seen them before. So I'm going to say these are new, Antec Neptune 120 and 240. And then on the air cooler front, we've got EVGA now has a tower cooler, the AX, ACX MITX. That's interesting, specifically, I guess, good for micro or uh, mini ITX builds. We've got Cryrig C7 RGB. We already had the C7, but not the RGB. We had some other one from that. I can't remember my look. Um, Cooler Master Hyper 212 LED Turbo. The Hyper 212 is like the best 
tower cooler if you want to spend like $20. And now we have the turbo edition, which I don't know what that means. Uh, and it's white and it's LED. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, now I just really kind of want to look and see what other, what was the other cryo rig we had? Just, I'm very curious. We had that really short guy. Yeah, we had the C7, non-RGB. Now we have the C7, RGB. Okay, got it. That clears it up for me. Thank you, game. Um, let's, let's check out this new Corsair one, maybe. Oh, please work. Yes, we just got to remove these drive bays. Who needs them? Don't need them. I don't need them. If it's not solid state, I'm not in. That's not completely true at all. Uh, yeah, this is, that's, that'll work. It's kind of weird looking on that CPU. Is that the thermal paste coming out under it? That's cute. It's like a little pancake. That's interesting. Okay, I don't know if this is really a cooler you'd want to put on a Threadripper CPU, but we'll just, we'll roll with it. Uh, okay, let's do some case fans. We've got some new case fans, actually. We've got Corsair's IQ QL120s in black and white and 120 and 140. And then we've got a bunch from Arctic, their P14 and their P12 series fans. And they've got all these different variants. They've got white transparent. They've got CO, TC, uh, TC. I don't know what TC, PST, pressure, static. T I don't know what a lot of these like acronyms stand for. Um, but yeah, there's all these different variants. And in real life, that would probably be more exciting. In the game, maybe a little less exciting because like you don't really appreciate how silent a fan is in this game. So given that, Let's just throw on some of these Corsair new Corsair 140s. I don't know how well they're gonna match with our AIO, but we're gonna we're gonna try it anyway. Can I? So there's okay. So no fans in the front of this case. This is gonna have a just a transparent front. We could do fans on the bottom, which might not really be necessary. These are both set to exhaust, which stinks. Still, uh, still praying that the next you know some update we're gonna be able to change fan orientation or change fans on radiators. That'd be so cool. Um, because everything is always exhaust practically all the time and I hate it. Um, if I put these here, I bet these are going to show up as exhaust anyway, and then I'm just going to be more sad. Oh no, those are showing as intake. Okay. You know what? We're going to do that because it makes me feel slightly better. Yeah. We're going to do three one forties, a long bottom that are going to serve as our intakes. And then everything else is just going to be exhausting, which like wouldn't be the worst, worst thing ever. So let's do that. Uh, okay. Let's get a power supply put in really quick. We have no new power supplies, but we'll just get one going here real quick, 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 quick. Uh, yeah. I don't know why that's the power supply I chose, but it is. It's why I chose. Okay. We got to remove that. I always do that wrong. I really wish I didn't always do that wrong because it's super annoying. I'm gonna go with 750. We could go bigger, but it's, it's all good. We'll be fine. Uh, now we're doing an EVJ Supernova. It's like, you never know. It's just gonna change every time. Power supplies, I don't care about them. They don't, they don't care that much. In real life, I would care more, at least like to not get something junky, but I don't really care that much right now. Oh, cool. You can see it through the little window thing. Top mounted power supplies. That's like an old school thing. Like not necessarily old school, but like a lot of cases, older cases did this. It's fun that you can actually see the uh, intake fan. It's kind of cool. Um, all right, so cool. We're good there. Uh, let's just get some storage put in really quick. We have no new storage, but just want to get some put in really fast. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm going to put this drive in, even though I wouldn't recommend it. We're just going to do it anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm just trying to get through this. Uh, RAM, we've got no new RAM. I don't even know how you do like a couple sticks of RAM in a board like this, but level's just 2400 megahertz. What am I doing? What, what are we doing? What, what is happening? I, this is not the build I would build. I wouldn't build this. It's actually not much of a power supply considering the CPU I have in here. Just, we're just getting through this. I just want to show the new parts. Okay. Okay. And I really want to show the new graphics cards because I'm excited about the new graphics cards. Okay. Uh, we've got case fans. So we did that. We've got air coolers. What else? Uh, yeah. Graphics cards. That's really like the big thing. We've got a lot of new graphics cards and I'm very excited about them. Let's scroll to the bottom and check them out. First, actually, there are no new water-cooled graphics cards. So that's that's too bad. Oh, oh, first I should explain one of the one of the features that they added in this update that's outside of parts that's super cool. So you know how I've always been like doing esports expansion and it's like, oh my god, I can't remember anything. I don't know what I'm doing. I wish I had a place to like write notes down. Look at this up here. They added this. You can make sticky notes. Like, like, hey, don't. <laughs> I thought that was just gonna go away. Forget that Blade Slasha is, oh my God, is an, oh my God, I can't type, annoying and wants an RTX 3080 Ti Extreme. 
you know, or something like like so I could I could keep notes and I could just make more. <laughs> like, isn't that kind of cool? Like that's that's kind of cool. I don't know. I think it's kind of awesome. You can change the colors of notes. Oh my gosh, look at that. So there you go. That's actually a pretty cool feature. And it's cool that it's just in the inventory. Um, it's pretty awesome. Oh wait, but it's not actually in the eSports expansion. Oh, I just read that in the in the changelog. It's only in the base game. So this apparently doesn't work in eSports expansion, where I need it the most. But it would be useful in the normal campaign mode, I guess. So that's a cool feature. Uh, I'm sure it'll be in the eSports expansion soon, but that's pretty awesome. So there you go. Um, okay, but sorry, forever that little intermission, but uh, I wanted to make sure I men remembered to mention that because it's pretty awesome. Uh, okay, graphics cards. Let's just go to the bottom. That's right, we finally got Founders Edition uh, 3000 series cards from NVIDIA. So that's super exciting. I'm gonna get the RTX 3090, the RTX 3080, ooh, which I have, which means I can finally update my personal PC in the game. I, gotta, I actually think I have to rebuild it because I think it's been lost. Uh, but we can rebuild it, so look forward to that video pretty soon. We'll rebuild it. You can see my uh, hilarious CPU bottleneck that I have to deal with sometimes. Uh, we have also got the Founders Edition RTX 3070. So this is the first time that the 3080 and the 3070 have been in the game at all, which is cool. We've got some new uh, uh, RX 5000 series cards from MSI. So not the 6000 series. I'm sorry. They're not here yet. Uh, hopefully we'll get them soon. I would sort of, I sort of enjoy this like trickle update rather than getting everything at once, so I'm okay with it. And then we've got a bunch, we finally got more like 3000 series cards from other vendors. We only had MSI before, we only had their two, the Gaming Trio and the Ventus. But now we've got 3090s and 3080s from EVGA for, in, in their XC3 Ultra line, as well as the For the Win 3 Ultra line. And uh, then we also got some 1660s and 1660 Ti, 1650, which is kind of weird. And then we got 3000 series from Colorful, with, uh, they have 3080, 3080, 30, oh, no, no 3090 from Colorful. Their, their cards are very interesting. This one is extremely sharp, like physically looks very sharp to me. Um, so that's cool. We've got the Asus ROG Strix, only their 3090, which is interesting. That was one we saw on the main menu, but it's a pretty sweet looking card. Uh, their 3070 OC and the Tough 3080, not the Tough 3090, which does exist. And there is also a Strix 3080, that, but they're not in the game. So, but that's exciting. We've got a bunch of new vendors giving us 3000 series cards. So, uh, very cool. Let's just throw the Tough Gaming in here. I actually think it's gonna fit our aesthetic quite well, which is the aesthetic of black and matte black, I guess, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's see, are we good? Yeah, we can power this on. That's That's something we could do. Um, I'm gonna just get some software installed real quick. Let's just get, let's just get like a, like, let's just get booted up. We're not gonna do anything else. Like, this is not about building this computer. It's about showing off new parts. Did I ever put this dust filter? Oh no, does that need to go here? I don't remember. Dust filter? Where do you go? Nope, not there. Oh boy. Did it go on the bottom? Did I, oh, I thought I already put it back there. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No problem. What else we got? Drive bays, don't care. Okay, cool. You're good. You're happy. It's an interesting system. I don't know if I'd recommend you spend your money quite like this. Um, especially not on the RAM. That was that was that was not a good idea. Alright, so the other big thing that we got in this update is new peripherals, but not just new peripherals from companies we already have, but new peripherals from companies that we've never seen before. So that's exciting. Uh, we can just jump into keyboards here and we can scroll to the bottom again because that always works out for us. But Steel Series is now in the game. So that's cool. They're a brand new vendor, they haven't been in the game before. So we've got several keyboards from them. Looks like uh, four, five. Six. Six keyboards from Steel Series, Apex 3, with wrist rest without, Apex 7 with, with wrist rest without, which really is not multiple keyboards. It's and then also the TKL with and without. So I'm gonna say three keyboards from them. Uh, we've also got a few new ones from Corsair it, with the uh, K70 RGB Mark II with and without wrist rest, <laughs> the K68 Gaming LED and the K95 RGB Platinum, which is pretty sweet. Let's throw that, let's throw that on there. That's cool. Actually, we should do Steel Series, right? Like they're brand new. We should, we should, uh, we should make them feel at home, wrist rest. Okay, that's cool. And we've got new mouse pads, mouse mats. Steel Series got a few. That one's fun. Oh, we've also got an RGB one. And is that it? Is it just it's just Steel Series for this one? Yeah, just Steel Series. So let's do this one because that's wow quite large and hilarious. Uh, we've got no new monitors. We do have new headsets. 
I can never remember how to get like a headset out on this, like on a new workstation, but I've got one here, so we could just change this out. Um, got the Arctic 7 in white, the Arctic 5 in black and white, the Arctic 7 in black and white, the Arctic 3 in black and white, and the Arctic 1 wireless. And that's it, right? That's all that's, 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 that's new. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's do the Arctic 7 in black. Look at that. No, black is boring. Let's do white. White. Sure, that looks nice. Uh, what else? Keyboards, mice, we got it. Oh, mice. We could look at mice. Yes, let's look at mice. Jeez. Yeah, we, this mouse is pretty lame anyway. The Mortoni Smooth Point. It's, it's the smoothest pointer you can buy. We've got new ones from Steel Series here as well. The Sensei 10, the Rival 710, the Rival 600, Rival 310, and Corsair's also got some new ones. The Iron Claw, RGB, the Dark Core, RGB Pro SE, the Scimitar, RGB Elite, and then Asus with the ROG Gladius 2 Origin Pink Limited. We're using that. It matches our mouse pad. Not at all. It looks terrible. Uh, but there you go. So that's pretty much everything in the game. It's all the new parts that are in the game. So I'm pretty excited. We got three more 3000 series cards because we only had the couple 390s. So that's pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, so that's all the parts. One other thing they mentioned in the changelog, which I'll link below, and it's pretty exciting. I have been selected? Is that, a, that elected? No, it's not that formal. Uh, I don't know. I've gotten the opportunity to, to do some videos for the PC Building Simulator official YouTube channel. Uh, and my first one is actually out now. So if you want to, check it out. In fact, I'll probably link that in the description as well. Uh, but it was pretty fun. I built the ultimate 8K gaming PC over on their channel. And so I'll, get, I'll be getting the opportunity to do videos for them periodically. And uh, it's going to be super fun. I get to do the free build extreme content series, which is super awesome. So uh, if you aren't sick of watching me on this channel, you can go over there and watch me put up a video every once in a while over on the official PC Building Simulator channel. Uh, so yeah, just wanted to let you guys know and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, you want to see more videos like this of P P PC Building Simulator and other games we've been playing, be sure to subscribe. And either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. See ya.